Using color swatches, master pages, and styles is a good way to make your digital design efficient. We can take it one step further by sharing our swatches, master pages, and styles if and when appropriate to help someone else's design process be as efficient as possible. For example, if I am the lead designer on a project and I've chosen our color scheme, it is easier for me to share one swatch file that can be loaded into InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop than to provide my cohorts with a list of swatches and swatch settings that must be added manually. Having multiple people manually enter the settings for each color is both time consuming and risky. What if somebody enters the wrong settings by accident? What if I give them a hex code and they enter one of the six um, digits wrong? What if I tell them it's 100% cyan, 26% magenta, 13% yellow, and 4% black, and they enter one of those percentages wrong? Swatches are saved and loaded via the option flyout menu on the swatches panel. You can save color swatches by highlighting the color swatch you wish to share via the swatches panel. You can only select one or all the swatches on the panel. Select save swatches via the option flyout menu on the swatches panel. And then choose a file name and save location for your swatches. InDesign will save them as a .ase file. When you're ready to load the swatches, you can go back to the option flyout menu and choose load swatches. Uh, once you do that, you just need to search through your computer, find the correct .ase, Adobe Swatch Exchange file, and then select open and your swatches will be added to the swatches panel. However, please note that only solid color swatches can be saved and loaded via ASE files. Gradients and tints saved in the swatches panel cannot be saved in your ASE file, but they can be loaded via an InDesign file. Instead of choosing to load an ASE file, choose the InDesign document that contains your swatches and choose to load it and all swatches from that document will appear in your new document. There are pros and cons to this. Saving a .ase file only provides the swatches that you choose, but loading an InDesign document loads every swatch in that file, so it gives you, you know, your gradients and things like that, but it gives you all of the swatches. So if there are 500 swatches in the file and you only needed two, you're gonna have to delete 498 swatches. So you can see a visual here of how that works. This is something that we did cover in our introductory InDesign class, so it should be a little bit of a refresher. So on the swatches panel, make sure you highlight the swatches you want to share. I've highlighted the six that are active. Hit the option flyout menu in the top right hand corner and then choose save swatches. Once you are saving the swatch, just make sure that you give it a name that's appropriate and you know where you saved it. And then when you want to load it, see how this swatches panel doesn't have any swatches in it? You can hit the option flyout menu, choose load swatches, find the .ase file, and then hit open. Notice that you can select InDesign documents and you can select .ase documents, but I can't select this PDF or this uh, Microsoft Word document. So select the .ase and it will load those swatches. If you select the InDesign file, it will load all the swatches in that InDesign file. It is actually really easy to share master pages. All you have to do is share a document containing the master page with your coworker, and they have the ability to load any master page contained within it into their own document. Note, if your master pages are A master, B master, etc., aka you've used the default naming settings, the person loading the master page will need to make a decision to override their own default master A, master B, to, or duplicate them. For this reason, I suggest creating custom master page names if you plan to share your master pages. So maybe you call it chapter title page master, table of contents master. The steps that you'll follow to load your master pages are to open the pages panel, launch the options flyout menu, scroll down and choose master pages and then load master pages, find the save InDesign document that the master pages that you need are located in, um, and then select open. So you can see a visual of what happens here. So someone has already given us this master page example InDesign file, and I want to load their master pages into my project. So I'll hit the option flyout menu in the top right hand corner of the pages panel, come down to master pages, then choose load master pages. Once the open a file dialog box appears, you'll select the master page and then select open. Now, if you've used the default names of your master pages, you have A master, B master, you'll probably get a prompt that looks like this. One or more master pages in master ex page example A, uh, master page example dot INDD have the same name as your existing master pages. What do you want to do? I don't get to see what they are. I don't, I, I have to remember what my master pages are. I have to have an idea of what your master pages are. And so usually what I do is I just say, well, I'll rename my master pages to duplicate them. But if you already renamed them, I won't have to make that decision.